Honorable Speaker, um, in regards to this uh, particular uh, bill, the appropriation bill, I want to stand here to just make a few remarks. An honorable speaker, I will be very brief because for me, the one area that I really have a concern for is uh, R1017, where we have sought to increase the amount allocated to state house to a whooping two billion. An honorable speaker, I keenly listened to the chair of budget when he was giving us his um, his remarks in support of why it is two billion. And I remember him mentioning that the reason for this is that the head of state would like to have more meetings in state house, including building a pavilion. But honorable speaker, we are experiencing extraordinary times, which means we need to make extraordinary decisions. And for me, if we must have meetings, then why don't we have online meetings? For example, why can't we have a Zoom meeting where the head of state can have Zoom meetings so that we even save more money. And for me, Honorable Speaker, I feel that this amount of money allocated is a bit too much. And the one area that I really want to support is the area of the diaspora. Diaspora has been allocated an approximate amount of one million. And for me, I feel this is an area that needed to have a bit more money allocated to them. And the reason for this is because we have a lot of investments coming from the diaspora people out there, and we need to in, to capacitate and actually have proper infrastructure to make sure that we have actual data of which Kenyans are these that are in the diaspora, how much money are they making, how much taxation is coming through. But if we are locating very little money towards this infrastructure, then we're not going to get the possible results. Honorable Speaker, as I finish, there's also an allocation for the Deputy President's Office. And Honorable Speaker, I listened very carefully when the deputy president mentioned that he also wants to eat seafood and lobsters in his office. And I'm just wondering, this additional uh, allocation, is it for these lobsters and seafood? Because if we are all making uh, sacrifices and reducing the amounts allocated to each and every area, then we need to make proper sacrifices. It cannot be luxurious sacrifices that we are making. With those few remarks, Honorable Speaker, I think we really need to review uh, the estimates that we've indicated here and have estimates that actually, actually speak to the current economic situation of this country. I, I thank you. Justice, can I start by congratulating the chair of the budget committee for being very eloquent in his presentation of the supplementary budget. Mr. Speaker, as much as I support the, the increases and the adjustments that have been made, I would want to ask the Budget Committee to start thinking towards the reduction of the, 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 the there's a, a lot of, there's an increase in the deficit. We should start thinking about the reduction of the deficit. Let us now start looking at a balanced budget. I know it is not something that can be done easily, but let us put our minds of bringing the budget, uh, the deficit down, so that Kenya is also seen to be doing its operations in a, a more considerate manner. Mr. Speaker, uh, with those few remarks, I want to thank the budget chair and encourage him to start looking at the reduction of the deficit in the future. Thank you. Beatrice Kamei. Uh, na unga mkono uh, ambayo imeongezwa katika elimu katika mambo ya usalama mambo ya afya na mambo ya ukulima kwa sababu huu ukulima ndio uti wa mgongo wa taifa hili mheshimiwa speaker na kama ilivyo hali yetu imekuwa tata katika taifa hili uchumi umekuwa mbaya upande wa ukulima wakiongezewa itaongeza uh, uzalishaji na ile 
economy itapanda juu uchumi uchumi utakuja juu na na imani baadaye rais wetu aweza kupunguza sasa zile task ambazo zimekuwa zikitujia kila wakati mheshimiwa speaker lakini mheshimiwa speaker pia lazima niangalie upande mwingine nikiangalia ile bajeti ambayo umeongezwa uh, katika ikulu na ile ambayo imeongezwa katika naibu wa rais mheshimiwa speaker Naona hiyo kidogo ingewacho mahali ilipo kwa sababu mwanzo ilivyowekwa kwanza kulikuwa na utata mheshimiwa speaker. Wakipunguza lakini pia waweze kuongezea huku kwenye afya, kwenye ukulima, kwenye usalama na kwenye elimu mheshimiwa speaker itagusa nyoyo za wananchi wengi na itaweza kumpa hata umaarufu zaidi katika uongozi wake, itaweza kutuliza nyoyo za wakenya ambao wanaangaika kwa wakati huu mheshimiwa speaker. Kwa hiyo upande wa baje mimi naweza kusupport katika sehemu hizi nne ambayo ni ukulima, usalama, uh, elimu na mambo ya, ya, uku, ya mambo ya education. Lakini upande wa state house mheshimiwa speaker Samahani, mimi kama mama county naona pale ibaki vile ilivyo. Asante sana mheshimiwa speaker. Thank you Fernando Wanyonyi. Thank you very much Mr. Speaker for giving me a chance to add my voice on this uh, supplementary budget. First and foremost, I want to thank the speaker, I mean the chairman, um, for at least uh, allocating uh, resources to areas that actually are need. I particularly, Mr. Speaker, and I've asked him and he's just told me, confirmed that uh, agriculture today is a shame that Kenya being a country on a tropical Africa, tropical area, is actually a net importer of food in this country. Something that is, we must take it very seriously. I want to find out how much money has been given to agriculture. Because, Mr. Speaker, we have, actually we are embarrassing ourselves. How do we import food? How do we import maize in this country? It's because I think we have not taken it very seriously. But I hope the supplementary budget, and I want to look at the figures, that you actually should be able to have more money put in agriculture, get irrigation equipment in these areas, areas that actually need irrigation, uh, can be able to buy some more equipment so that during the dry season, we can be able to irrigate areas to be able to produce enough land, enough food for this country. I want to agree that um, he has put some money, but whether it's enough or not, I think it's something that we want to sit, and I've just talked to my chairman here, we have to sit down and look at it and be able to see if we can get enough money to, uh, uh, to be appropriated into agricultural sector of this country. It's a shame that we import food. Now Kenya is a net importer of the food, which is not something, Mr. Speaker, that is, is, is very embarrassing. With those few remarks, I support uh, the supplementary uh, budget, and I hope the chairman will look at it uh, critically to be able to look at that can be able to see what you can do. Thank you so much. Thank you, Fernand uh, Bowen. Support. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to support the supplementary budget and uh, congratulate my good friend, uh, Honorable Ndindi Nyoro. Uh, you know, he's bragging about uh, Kenyatta University. At the time, during our time, the Kenyatta University was a school of arts and education. It was a college of education and arts. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, the Chomo Kenyatta University, the Chomo Kenyatta University, and we are many of us here from Chekwat. We are many. So, Honorable Speaker, let me support this. Uh, appropriation bill and commend the committee of Ndindi Nyoro for the good job. Mr. Speaker, the only issue I have, especially as a chair of Blue Economy and Water, Mr. Speaker, if you check the entire the northern Kenya and the, the coastal region, Honorable Speaker, which is very bad, partly affected by the floods, Mr. Speaker, those regions, as we speak, there is no even drinking water. And if you see from the budget which the Honorable Dindi has just tabled here, 
there is very little as located to those regions to address the issues of El Nino and the floods. Mr. Speaker, I appeared before the committee to present the case of this region, and uh, I, I don't know how much the Honorable Chair has given, because, Mr. Speaker, these are people currently, they are not even asking, they are not talking about coffee, they are not talking about uh, maize, they are not talking about fertilizers, they are talking about livelihood, drinking water for them and their livestock. Mr. Speaker, many of us who are pastoralists, I'm talking on behalf of the pastoralists now, Mr. Speaker. In this budget, Mr. Speaker, we have seen there is a significant amount of money allocated for coffee, for tea, which we have not even seen. I thought initially, Mr. Speaker, tea was supposed to be like fruits because I had not seen a, a, a tea tree. So, Mr. Speaker, I want when we do a, a, a budget, we do a balanced budget for the entire country to make sure that every Kenyan, Mr. Speaker, because all of us, we are taxpayers, we make sure that there is a balanced budget which touches across the economy of this country, including us, the pastoralists. Mr. Speaker, on the issue of security, Mr. Speaker, last week, Mr. Speaker, some, uh, uh, we approved our, some, uh, our men in uniform to go to Haiti. And Mr. Speaker, if you come to regions like Kenya Valley, where I come from, the Northern Kenya, the Turkana, that side, there is no security. So I was thinking that in this budget, the Honorable Dindi Nyoro's committee and the also Treasury allocate enough money to address the issue of insecurity in Northern uh, uh, part of the country and also the Rift Valley. Uh, otherwise, Honorable Speaker, the, from the budget I've seen from the Honorable Chair, it's a generally a good budget, and I support, but I'm only telling the chair next time when we are going to supplementary three or supplementary two, they reach the parts of Kenya which he, has no, which he has forgotten in his budget now, he makes sure that it is addressed uh, properly. And as we proceed, Honorable Speaker, also to approve this appropriation bill, the supplementary one which we passed in this, in this house, we have not seen the exchequer. We have not seen their projects at that time when it was approved. Many government agencies went to advertise projects and some contractors went to do some work. But that exchequer has not been released up to now and we are talking again, passing supplementary two. Honorable Dini Nyoro, go back to Treasury and speak well your economics. I had minus X minus M, which you talked here, we don't want the minus X, we want to see the real figures in people's, yes, <laughs> the real money in Kenyan pockets. Karole <laughs> Omondi. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. I'm actually waiting for the next order, if it could be expedited. Thank you. <laughs> now you are falling victim of my direction. If you are not speaking to the order on the floor, Try as much as you can to get yourself off the screen so that we can be able to attend. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I support uh, the, mo uh, uh, the, the motion as presented by my Abu Chairman. Honorable Speaker, in this supplementary uh, budget, the House has allocated sufficient resources to the security agencies, uh, the Department of Defense, uh, NIS, uh, and the general security of the country. Honorable Speaker, my prayer is that after this uh, bill is passed, that the relevant agencies will do their best to address the question of insecurity in the country. Uh, Honorable Speaker, there is uh, uh, criminal gangs are uh, running amok in this country. Honorable Speaker, yesterday, uh, criminal gangs in my constituency attacked police officers who are guarding exams. And they, they were able to kill one police officer and injured another one. And went, went away with the guns. As we talk, two guns are in the hands of criminals in Sierra. 
So, Mr. Speaker, this is something which this House needs to take note of, and uh, the security agencies have no excuse from today, after this budget is passed, not to be able to address the security challenges across the country. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I support. Thank you. Uh, Maclap. Yes, Mr. Speaker, first of all,